Hey Design Squad, welcome back. And in this video, I'm gonna challenge you. I'm gonna challenge you for the next year in 2020 or any year. If you're seeing it in a far future, it still stands. And I'm not gonna give you goals because each of us have our own personal goals we are striving for. And it could be new skill development, honing out existing technical skills in design, progressing in a career, maybe finding a new career opportunity. All of those goals really tie in into you being the best designer you can be. And you know, it's really hard to come up with systems to actually achieve those goals or get to where you want to go because you never know if you're on the right path. Now, I'm going to give you 10 challenges with very basic challenge as well as an upgraded challenge, which is gonna put you out of your comfort zones, but it's also gonna assure that you're in the right direction because it doesn't matter what you do. If you just do these challenges, you're definitely gonna improve as a designer. You're definitely gonna evangelize your skills in the right way. You're definitely gonna market yourself right. So without further ado, let's go after it. So challenge number one, easy one, read a book a month. That's a basic challenge. You know, you can do that. That would result in, I don't know, 10, 12 books a year, depends on how often and how fast you read. The level up for this challenge is reading a book a week. And by this, I don't mean just reading design books. You know, the best bit which you can do is really explore whatever interests you. So in that case, you can produce better ideas in the end. And if you remember my video about producing the best ideas, it's exactly how we innovate. We just connect the dots from the background information we receive. If you're not sure where to start, I just published a video about my reading list for design books and general books. I'm gonna leave the link down below. Challenge number two, I will challenge you to to make more than you consume or at least make something every day. You could develop something, you could design something, you could give advice, you could consult, just make it a design day. Every day has to be a maker's day and as a level up for this challenge I would even challenge you to spend at least one hour a day making something which is not part of your job which is something extra, something like your side project. This is the time to do it. This is a challenge for it. And next challenge is mastering a new tool. So I would challenge you to pick up a tool which you didn't have time for and just throughout the year consistently, every week, every weekend, just try practicing and learn it. The level up for this challenge is simple. Teach what you learn from those tools. You know, there is no better way to give back to a community than showcasing your examples, participating in forums, being an active member who contributes to development of an actual tool, but also the knowledge within the design community. Now, next challenge is a bit more on a softer side, which is find a mentor. A mentor can boost your career development, your professional development and skills development tenfold. Find someone you look up to. You know, it doesn't have to be official. You don't have to be like, hey, please, can you be my mentor? No, forget about that. What you're looking for is really a good advice, a proven advice, someone who can guide you through your challenges and just get an extra opinion. It's not your peer, it's someone who is above at least a level up. Now the level up to this challenge, once you do that, or if you have a mentor, try to make it consistent. Try to make that mentor almost like your accountability buddy, someone who's gonna give you advice every now and then and actually gonna follow up with you if you're a development. And let's say you can get constant check-ins, but responsibility is yours, it's not them. They're doing you a favor, you need to manage it. Now, next challenge is start something new, start with a new medium. And by new medium, I mean, if you don't have a blog, start a blog. If you don't have a YouTube channel, start a YouTube channel. Maybe it's an Instagram account, maybe it's a Twitter account, something purpose-driven though. Something with a purpose of sharing the UX knowledge, something you know already, something you find interesting links, it could be a newsletter, it could be anything. The upgrade to this challenge would be scale 10x. And by 10x, I mean, you know, once you start something like that, like for me, let's say a YouTube channel, you know, it started very slow. It took me almost a year to get to 4K subscribers and it was very long grind. But I really appreciate that because it taught me a lot of different bits. Let's say you start with one subscriber, maybe make a goal and challenge yourself to get a thousand subscribers or thousands of readers, at least one comment per blog post, something along those lines. And that's the upgrade. And the next challenge is to challenge the domain. Meaning, you know what designers should learn, you know what coders should learn, challenge that. 
learn a new programming language, learn about marketing, learn about business, challenge the domain and learn something extra. Become a service designer rather than just a digital UX designer. Become a customer experience designer by learning some marketing instead of just UX designer. Improve, learn something new, challenge the domain and dip into something which is totally different or something which is seemingly unrelated. The next stage to this would be to become proficient at it. And it could be that you just want to learn something like simple like HTML, CSS. Well, the level up is to be proficient, something you can actually say, hey, well, I'm UX designer, but now I can also engineer bits or at least hack it as needed. Now, the next challenge is something you should think about doing in your organization. I would challenge you to be entrepreneurial, meaning you're going to establish new processes. You're going to hack existing processes. You're going to look for improvements. And I would challenge you to at least come up with one improvement for your design team or your product team or your tech team, which would actually improve a process. It could be establishing new tool. It could be introducing a new method something you learn on YouTube from my channel or any other channels, it could be that. And as a level up, I would challenge you to experiment and go deeper and actually implement something which results in cost efficiency, in better ways to design, something which actually pays back to business. So you have it as a case, as an example. So the next challenge is about design systems. And I would challenge you to create a design system in your immediate team, in your immediate product team, if you don't have one create a design system. I have a tutorial series on how to make it in Sketch. You can reuse the same principles working with Figma or any other tool. So that's there, just check it out. As an upgrade to this challenge, I would challenge you to once you're done to actually make the design system public. In Design Tool Tuesday series, I've approached so many design systems so far and so many directories which you can just submit and so other people learn, you showcase your work immediately. It's a perfect segue because the next challenge is sharing your work. And sharing your work is really important because if you don't share your work, nobody else will. You need to make it at least a little bit public. Let's evangelize what design is great about. From a previous challenge, you're gonna start a blog or tweeting or Instagramming or videotaping some sort of videos about design, share it. And I would challenge you to start with just maybe sharing or writing one article a month or one video a month. Then if you want an upgrade, if you want to get more challenged, make it one video a week, one article a week, one tweet a week, or maybe even one Instagram shot a day. Now the next one is about the gravitas and the social skills. You know, if you want to become a design leader, you need to be able to give effective presentations, to stakeholder manage people very well. And so I would challenge you to give one talk relating to UX, CX, service design, product design, UI design, whatever you feel like from the design landscape, give a talk publicly. And it could be that you give it to your teammates. It could be that you give it to the department or wider organization. The next one is to give it publicly, meaning give a public talk in a meetup in a conference if you have an opportunity. Somewhere where people who are from different backgrounds can actually judge you, give you feedback, you can connect, network, you know, there is no failure. And a lot of people feel threatened by this because it's quite hard. It is hard, it's gonna improve your gravitas and the rewards are gonna be exponential. So that's 10 different challenges. I'm gonna give you one bonus one before we wrap up and it's about giving back. Now. My YouTube channel all this year, all this 2019 was about upskilling my peers, my junior designers, my team. I'm really glad that, you know, all that knowledge, all those videos actually are useful for you publicly because really all I wanted to do is to share and quickly upskill in a specific skill set my peer designers. But I would advise you to the same way, think about how you can give back to the community. And so I would advise you to find maybe a local business a non-profit, a friend, a family member, and just give a certain part of your time to them. Maybe give, I don't know, four or five hours a week on a weekend for that project. Because one, it's gonna return you a case study for your portfolio, let's say, but two, it's actually gonna bring value. And usually when you give it back, it usually returns that value tenfold. And so I have given you a few challenges. Now it's up to you to take it forward 
pick one, two, three, several challenges, whatever you feel is like. Don't focus too much on the quality and start baby stepping consistently. If you wanna have someone to keep you in check, social accountability is the most important bit. If you don't have anyone, leave a comment down below or email me, I'll happily be your accountability buddy. With limited availability, I might give you some insight, advice, or give you some pointers. But besides that, just pick one, pick two, pick three, and get after it. That's the most important bit so that you initiate and actually do something about this. Forget the resolutions, forget anything else. It's your year, your 365 days of opportunities. Take yourself out of the comfort zone and embrace the achievement. And so, I hope it's useful. Give a like, subscribe to this channel, share with your friends if you find it so, and until next time.